I have my insurance and registration. Can I please leave? No, you're not free to leave. Ah, some good old slurry speech, huh? Show you on my phone. I can show you on well, my phone. No, what I'm what I'm asking is, were you going this way on Manatee Avenue, or are you coming this way on 39? I didn't come this way on 39. I came on Manatee so Avenue. So you came this way to bust the U-turn. Okay. I dropped my son uh, off I'll, at. I'll Rowlett talk. Elementary. I'll talk to you in a second. You're, you're, no you're, you're not making any sense. Okay. I might not. I can reiterate. I don't know. Registration. Okay. Registration. Okay. Well, I just, ma'am, what I'm asking you is, were you driving on Manatee Avenue this way when the crash happened, or were you coming down 39th? It's a pretty simple question. I don't know directions. I use GPS for That's everything. That's not what I'm I asking. I my son off for, um... Yeah, well, the name of the street is not actually important. The, the direction you came from, that is the important part. And from the looks of it, you actually came from the bushes over there. What, did you do a parking job and ended up on the road? Not a really good job, if that's the case. A school, and I bust a U-turn, and I come around, and I come oh, down. Yeah. Well, I don't crash. know directions. Crash. I know GPS on my phone. What, so where, where were you at? So I was driving in the um, right lane, right here. coming this way, okay. and all of a sudden, this silver pickup completely like crash. I could feel he got I didn't see but he she must have crashed into him and he crashed into me. So was he in the other lane? He was in the left lane kind of like right next to me. Okay so I see the damage on your so, so it's like I was this. going right here he was going right here okay. and all of a sudden I can only I don't, I didn't see what the hell she did, but I heard the impact, and then his truck slammed into my truck. Okay, all right. I need your registration, your insurance. Did you get your registration, your insurance? I have him on the way. I've got all my stuff. I've, I'm legit the entire way. What do you need from me? Your registration, your insurance? I, I got whatever you need. One moment. I don't know. They're not here. Speak English into this, and then press the green one so they can speak Spanish into it. Well, let's uh. <laughs> Let's hope the translator app is not gonna be offensive or in any way, shape, or form. Also, I love how he just walks past the drunk and, uh, you know, pays no mind to whatever she's babbling about. my insurance and registration can i please leave no you're not free to leave he says no i can't leave doesn't matter what i give him what the actual <laughs> you actually thought you were able to leave after crashing this entire scene has not been solved yet well i know the cause of the accident but you know the officers actually have to still figure out what the fuck you did you dick flute i can't hear what he's saying there's too much traffic but no, he you're not. says there's too much traffic. I can't hear. But no, you're not free to leave. Do you have your registration insurance? I do. Can I see that, please? He wants the registration and insurance. Okay, I'll give it to him. I don't know why that's such a big argument. Ma'am, what's your phone number? My number? Yeah, I need it for the... I need the, your phone number because you're involved in a crash. For the what? Of what? You're not allowed to leave. You cannot leave. Um, I think I might, just for my own sake, I might go get this x-ray. Okay. Because God forbid something happens. I got you. Yeah, I think you have up to 72 hours, but the traffic cops are talking more about that. I think you have up to 72 hours. So, we're still working with this situation over here. I'm 99% sure she's good. What's the law if I can't do a test her? So, we can, but when we do a crash investigation, we have to finish the crash investigation before we switch to the DUI investigation. Oh, okay. Because if we don't, then we'll learn another thing. Okay. Oh. Hey! Turn your car off. Turn your car off. Turn the car off. No, turn the car off. Turn the car off and hand me the keys. Yes, give me the keys. Okay. I don't trust that you're not going to leave. Give me the keys. Okay, I'm not going Give me there. the keys. I'm not. Hey, Shelby, she's trying to leave. Not going nowhere, but you're not taking give the, me the keys. keys. 
No, I'm not going You're going to get pulled out of the car. Give me the keys. No, you're not taking my keys. Give me the keys. I'm going to pull you out of the car. I'm not going nowhere. Give me the keys or I'm going to pull you out of the car. The easy way out is just giving him the keys so you don't do a dumb by driving away from a crash scene you caused. Come to think of it. Pull her out of the car. She deserves it. Disgusting drunk driver. Uh. I'm not going nowhere. Unironically, you just said what's gonna happen if you don't hand over the keys. You just gotta love the dumbs doing the double negative. Give me the keys. We got get problems out of the car. going on. Get out of the car. Come get me. Get out of the car. Get me. We got problems. Don't get out of the car. Stop. Stop beating me up. Stop beating me up. Stop. 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 to say about that so many double negatives where in the land of grammar did we take a wrong turn to allow this to happen and uh your request to check the body cameras why do you think we have all gathered here to watch your stupidity in action uh. all in all not a good look uh. i didn't do nothing wrong Serve your body cameras. i didn't do nothing wrong I didn't do nothing wrong. Serve your body cameras. I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. You foul ass bitch. Yes, quite. So I took the liberty of turning off the switch for double negatives on the word bit bucket. Because, I mean, you're just a dipsittery dispenser, aren't you? I didn't do nothing wrong. Right. Let go, let me tighten it. Alright, we're 10 4, 1 to 10. Anyone coming can slow it down. I didn't do nothing, motherfucking wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. Well, losers. Hey, whoever's running 10 18, slow it down. Alright, up. Imagine this piece of garbage lying on the ground there, calling other people losers. <laughs> The audacity! Hey, may maybe you need to ask him again if you can leave. I mean, everyone knows there's an unwritten rule. When you repeat something enough times, the police will have to let you go. Oh, and in case some of the dumbs come across this video, it was sarcasm. You bloody dick flutes. You Stop! Kick me! Stop! Kick me up! Kick me up. Kick me up. Kick me up. No, keep her down. Keep her down. Mm, taking me down. Sir, can you back up, please? He can't, because he's a loser. What? Innocent bystander being called a loser. Sue her, mister. Uh, that is slander. Nothing. He's a liar. They're nasty and they're being right. hateful hey, and they're spitting on me. Check their f***ing camera. Stop. Do not kick me. Them. You're spitting on me. Stop. Do not kick 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 me. You're spitting on me now. We're not spitting on you. And you're holding my arm. Okay? You get the f*** off me, you nasty f***. Hold her, I gotta unlock the car. It's okay. I'm not fighting. I have no issue. Hold on, I'm turning it. My issue was with her. Stop! My issue was with you. No, I'm scared. Quick! 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 I got it. I'm sorry. That door's broken. 
Oh, come on! Every time there's a bloody door slam, I am walking back and shit. But I, can we play it again? Please play it again. I mean, it sounded like a spiffy door slam. Uh, that's a 10 4, a 10 4 on a door slam. We got an angelic door slam on a demon. How'd this happen? How'd this happen? Um, Ask Shelby, I'll get mixed reports. I'm thinking she was coming out of this way. Yeah, she did. Probably ran the light, hit the dude in the truck, the dude in the truck hit the lady next to him. Hey, I'm gonna take you out of the car and I'm gonna search you, okay? Are you sure about that? Uh, don't we need an exorcism as well? As long as you know, there's not going to be any messing around out here, okay? All right. All right. I'll help you out. All right. Just relax. Sorry. It's okay. Just turn around for me, okay? You have anything on you that's going to cut me or poke me? No, ma'am. All right. You weren't supposed to get caught? You weren't supposed to get caught? What, is this some kind of just a prank, bro? Okay. I have a medical card. It might be in my purse. I have medical marijuana. There's nothing else on me. I don't do okay. drugs. There's We're going to get back in the car, right? Yeah. You can do whatever you need. Yeah, we're going okay, back in the car. I'm just going to sit you back in the car. Yes, okay. ma'am. Wherever I need to go. Right here. Sorry, I need to blow my nose. Can you scoot up just a little bit? I don't want to shut the door on you. I need to scoot, but I need to blow my nose. Okay, well, please blow my nose. No, we're not going to blow your nose. Can I have a napkin? We don't have napkins. Okay, well, I'm going to blow my nose. We don't have napkins. I got napkins in the front. Okay. Can we, can we call that another door slam? Do the door slam, double door slam, everyone. I'm just gonna call it double door slam because it is cool. She said so. That's not how I wish to start my shift. You gonna help me, sir? What's wrong? Can I move my hands from the front? Do you have any? I do have important information in the front. No, I mean, do you have any? Surgery or back or arm issues? Is there anything involving your shoulder area or your back area? If I say yes, can I access my materials? I, I, I'd have because to. Because I would love to access my materials and I would love to tip you somehow. She wants to tip you. What do you what do you think's going on here, lady? He's not a stripper dressed as a policeman. What kind of information do you have that is not fueled by pure dipshittery? I, I, I'd have to ask my, my supervisor, but yes, sir, your supervisor would know best. Hey, how do you um get in that glove box in your car? I don't. It's a brand new car and I'm walked out of it. So you can't get in there? Uh, it's a brand new car. I've had the car a week and I've walked out of it. No, ma'am, I don't have access. I've asked for access and no, I don't have access. What? Are you Miss Megan? My boss said, uh, no, you ain't Miss Megan. Nope, you ain't. Um, okay, well, um, how may I assist you? Because it's a brand new car. It got bought for me. To wait tables at AHOP. I'm waiting tables at AHOP. It's my second week doing so. It's my first job on my own without him being a source of my income. So how may I help you? So I will help you however I can. If you can't get in, you can't get in. That's that's all we needed to know. I can get in several different ways. What do you need me to get in? You need me to get into an account? That's all. No, I'm asking you about your glove box. That's it. Okay. You know, I said it before and I'll say it again. There's being able to hear and there's listening. What we have here is the rare occasion of being unable to do either of them. I bet if you just jingle your keys in front of her, she just starts telling random stories. I didn't do nothing wrong, 
can I please be let go? I didn't do nothing wrong and I'm involved in nothing of what's being questioned. I have no idea of who she's talking about or what she's talking about and I'm not involved. But I'm, I'm just waiting for the officers to let her go now. I, I mean, she seems very confident that is going to happen. Why am I being detained? I have a kid and a job. Why the f*** am I being detained? <laughs> I have one six people that I'll buy your food any day, any time. Deborah, I got you any day, any time. I didn't do nothing wrong. He's not gonna cut it when you kick us in the face. I mean, she just kicked you a little bit. Can't you let her go? I mean, she's not involved. She didn't do nothing and all that jazz. That one needs to be on a bingo card as well. The disingenuous, sir. Genuinely curious what she's gonna pay for, though. <laughs> He's foul. Check his camera. He's foul as f I'll foul a f***ing suit. Play me. I'm sober. Check my breathalyzer. I didn't do anything wrong. You are. <laughs> well, if that isn't the question of all questions, I don't even think she knows what's going on with her. Yeah, we got her custody. Uh, that's not what we're doing. Who are you? That's, that's her son. That her son? They, she is impaired. She struck two of my officers and she's going to get her. Okay, so we're going to, she's going to get her call call to the call wherever she goes. Yeah. What's the point around on this morning? Well, it depends on her, really, at the jail. I mean, because right now she is in a very combative attitude. She wants to fight everybody. Um, I'm guessing that's probably due to her impairment. Um, so it all depends on how long she uh, takes it to jail. So, I mean, it could be anywhere from two or longer. Two or longer. Hours. Hours. hours yeah. So she could get out today if she got her shit straight. Yeah. But if not, maybe she they were ever gonna do anything to see her on Sunday. We should get out Sunday. Probably Sunday or Monday at the latest. Okay. I mean if she just cooperated she'd be she'd be fine, but she wants to get two of my officers and she's prepared, so So is that gonna be is that gonna be an actual charge or she's gonna have an assault charge or anything? Well she's gonna actually have two battery charges. What is, what is that there? It's uh, two misdemeanor crimes. 
Well, if you want a tutorial on how not to do with officers, uh, they don't like it when you kick them in the face. She found it out the hard way. Imagine causing a crash and then turning into the victim yourself. How dare you? Remember to tickle the bell on all things around it and I will see you next time. Bye bye. If she's gonna pay for absolutely everything, she's gotta do a whole lot more than just sell her car. Out of the car.